I'm in the Amarok and it's come up with an engine light. It's actually gone out for a bit now. Since I'm doing a video, it decided to uh, go away. But it could be also because I went to remove the injector for the Ad Blue that may have dislodged some contaminants. But the error code we've still got stored is P2. 0E8. That's what we've got stored in the system at the moment. So stored codes. No codes are stored in the module. Okay, we've got to have the ignition on maybe. So yeah, it may have been dislodged, but that engine light there was on for the last few days. We'll just double check. It's not there anymore. Now there we go. We've still got the error code P20E8. I might start it up and see if it's still there. All right, the engine light is not staying on, which is kind of good news, but we're gonna clean it properly anyway, and then clear that code once and for all. Let's get under the vehicle and take a look what's causing that issue and how to fix it. All right, we're gonna climb under the passenger side. You can get under here pretty easy. What you will need is an Allen key, ideally a Torx bit, but most people would have an Allen key. And this is 3 16th, and that seems to fit pretty good. And I'll show you why. And also a quarter inch ratchet part for your Allen key, unless you've got um, the right angled Allen keys, that will work as well. Let's get under and have a look. So now to the front of the vehicle. I want to get under here. So right here, this is the AdBlue injector. So this is where your fluid comes in, into the injector and into the DPF right here. Where are we? Uh, let's see if we can see back here. So this is your injector back here. Where are we? Right there, that's your injector. And it goes into the DPF right here. Not sure if you can see that. And then you've got another sensor here to tell you if the emissions have reduced. And if they haven't, you'll get an error code to say that the AdBlue system is not working properly. You've got low pressure in the AdBlue system, so it's not getting rid of all your nitrous oxides before it ends up out of the tailpipe down there. All right, so what you need to do is remove this bracket here, get your Allen key, remove this bracket. I've already pre-loosened it, so we'll just pop that off. Don't lose the little spring bracket inside there. If you're not sure how that goes, that's where the spring bracket goes inside. Right there. Okay, remove the other bracket. All right, now you can wiggle out your injector and what you'll find is a whole lot of crap coming out. And yes, that is full of carbon and crystallized add blue. That should be a nice brass color inside of there. So all we need to do is clean that up and we should be back in business. So I'm gonna use some brake cleaner and sorry, it's a bit hard to film under this car. I've got a toothbrush, a nice soft brass bristled brush, double-ended and a small pick just to get stuff out of the end of the nozzle there. So what we're gonna do first, just watch your eyes, wear eye protection. We're gonna give this a squirt with some, we're gonna give this a squirt with some brake cleaner. Where are we? There. So give that a bit of a squirt, let that soak in. Like so. And now we'll give it a bit of a scrub with our brushes. I'll try and do this with one hand. I don't know how this is gonna work. Otherwise I'll give it a spray. Let me just get that pick in there and see how bad this is. All right, now we can see some shiny Metal inside the injector hole. There we go. I can see that small hole there. Let me zoom in a bit. All right, we can now see the injector. Let's grab some more brake cleaner on that. Get my little brass brush in there. So I'm going to give this a bit more of a clean with the brass brush and we'll come back in a second. So I've attacked it a bit more 
with the pick and it's come up way better there was a bit more crud around the injection port than i thought so that's how it's supposed to look just like that where are we there we go we can clearly see the injector port in the center there that small tiny minuscule hole right there in the center so that's how your so that's how your ad blue injector should look that's pretty clean now let's get that back in so all you need to do there's some notches on the edges here let me swap hands so you don't have to disconnect anything to give it a, a reasonable clean but if you have that's how it goes just pop that back into the port let's just check that oh yeah there's quite a bit of crud in there just clean all that out there okay so pop that in put your bracket back on which we'll do now and we'll go and clear the codes so this is a bit hard one-handed but that bracket just goes on one side that notch fits together with the other side of the bracket put that bracket on like so and then put your other half on the other side hook it in and screw it together so i've just got my bracket together that clips in up the top there like so and doesn't really matter how you place it. So if you want it looking like factory, just have that facing down and we'll do up our bolt. Okay, this is a quite tricky one-handed, so I'm gonna finish this off. Okay, that's all back and secured. Our AdBlue or DEF diesel emission fluid injector is all secured. Let's go back up and clear the codes and we should be sweet. Okay, back in the vehicle, put the ignition on. We'll go to our OBD2 port tool, which is under the dash right there. You can get some OBD tools quite cheap. You can get some Bluetooth modules that you can plug into your OBD2 port and get an app for your phone. Now we've got this plugged in fresh. Select OBD2. Do an auto scan. First module, read codes, stored codes. So we've still got that code there. We'll go back and clear that. Erase codes. Clear the codes. Now, all the trouble codes have been cleared. So turn the ignition off. Back on again. And we'll make sure we don't have any codes. All right, no stored codes. So we'll go for a drive and hopefully we won't get any more add blue error codes. Just gotta go fill up some add blue now. So it's actually been about two weeks now and about 500 Ks and I haven't had one problem. So the issue is definitely fixed. So that's great news. And yes, I've got a full tank of AdBlue now, almost. So that's how you fix your AdBlue trouble code and clean your AdBlue injector. Beauty on the Amarok. Now we just gotta get now we've just gotta go get some more ad blue, but that's how you fix your ad blue injector error code. Beauty. So that's how you fix your ad blue error code in the Amarok. Beauty. And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked what you see, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment below. That would help my channel grow. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic.